It's a chance to get away. I mean, all of the chaos of work and of family and of just even during the pandemic obligations, it's a chance to kind of breathe deeply and get away from distractions and find some peace. We're just south of Cable, Wisconsin. Uh, there's a yurt that's here that's right over my shoulder. It's just beautiful, untouched land up here. The woods and trails and roads around here are just unreal. We're out in the middle of the forest. We got a yurt, we got a fire pit. It's a wonderful area. Really nice people. Everybody's kind of up here for the same purpose, of enjoying the outdoors. And just a fun place to be and kind of feel the energy. It feels like people are up here to be active and be outside. We just moved to North Carolina maybe six weeks ago, a little over six weeks ago, right around 17 hours from my house to where we are now in Cable. Uh, so quite a ways. Uh, my wife and I have an eight-year-old daughter and we just had twins. She just gave birth to twins seven weeks ago. I wasn't sure that I was gonna be able to come because that's a lot of stuff to take care of without me being at home. Uh, the yurt itself is maybe a third of a mile off the road. It's basically a permanent tent with a stove in it and some bunk beds. This is my first time staying in a yurt uh, and it's been great. <laughs> it's a lot easier than camping because you don't need to bring the tent, the hammock, all of your equipment. We kind of just showed up with sleeping bags, which is really convenient. Um, but it's also just really rustic. We can all kind of, you know, cook our food. There's a stove to keep us warm. Got the wood fire, you know, so there's no electricity, there's no water, um, but there's plenty of wood to keep us warm. It's nice to kind of have a home base where you come back to and you get to explore the area and not have to worry about like, exactly how much weight you have that you have to carry or when you're going to pick up your next load of food or supplies or something like that. We had two groups, a uh, fat, fat bike group, three of us, and then the kind of the gravel, the gravel group, three of us. Well, riding has been really interesting on this trip because we're right at the tail end of winter, front end of spring up here. So um, conditions are soft. There's still quite a bit of snow. Um, but overall, it's been really good riding. I mean, we definitely have hit some spots where uh, the snow is a slog or there's still some ice from the winter, but um, overall, it's just beautiful, beautiful riding. We hit a lot of gravel, a little bit of pavement today even, and you can just fly. And I don't feel like falling up against the sky. I said taking it all in to make the good we got out early, so it was pretty good early, and then the last hour was pretty sloppy. On the way down south, the downhills were sloppy, and on the way back, the uphills were sloppy, so. The weather's a little finicky in a way right now. It's beautiful out right now, but it's kind of hovering above and below freezing, so, um, and the snow is not yet totally melted, so what that means for riding is you go through parts that are full of snow, like today we saw stuff that was, you know, with tire tracks and ruts, you know, six inch tire ruts and kind of navigating through that and then all the way to like pretty bare gravel. Yesterday's route was mostly gravel with a little snow. Today's route almost entirely snow with just pockets of gravel. The chance to kind of explore a new gravel road, get out in the country, you see a lot of farms, a little hidden airport here and there. Uh, it's just beautiful, beautiful wilderness. The scenery was, was perfect, blue skies, warm weather. This is all pretty a pretty new sport to me, being able to, to, to bike pack and strap everything on, so I like that challenge of it, of seeing what I can accomplish. It's a combination of everything that I like. I like camping, I like biking, I like hanging out with, with friends. And there's just something about going out on a new trail for the first time and not knowing where it's gonna take you, kind of loosely knowing what the map says. And we're all just having a good time, totally playing like kids up here in the woods. You know, half the fun is being here, the other half the fun is looking forward to it. In the middle of all that peace, you just find an openness that kind of, you know,